This segment brought to you by Hope Cancer Care of Nevada, offering state-of-the-art cancer treatment in Pahrump. A little hope goes a long way. In continuing our commitment to help voters make an informed decision in this year's election, we invite every candidate to come to KPBM TV for a free one-time interview about their campaign. All you need to do is email me, Deanna, at kpbm.tv. Today we feature Deborah Strickland, who is campaigning for Nye County Commissioner in District 5. Well, I was unfortunately not being heard, and neither were any of the other people in the audience. You go to the podium, you go to talk to the Board of County Commissioners, they're set up there, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, I felt like prior to a month ago, we were being heard. Mm -hmm. When we saw, heard an item that we wanted to be at the County Commissioner's meeting, you'd show up, you'd bring the people that had an uh, interest in that item, you'd say your piece, and they'd, you know, okay, I hear you, you know, that might sway my, they're, they have decided, uh, at the board level that most of their decisions are made before they get there and that's kind of scary to me because they are our representatives and so of course the water issue was huge the water issue was huge I to, I left the office my daughter Tawny Tankersley is my assistant there and I left the office and we'd already received four phone calls today that is a typical morning for those who want to know whether or not they can drill a well now that's just wrong that's just wrong. We're, we had, everyone was doing fine. There were no, there's no water issue as far as I'm concerned and groundwater shrinkage are going away. As a well drilling contractor for 25 years, we've drilled here. Yeah. And so it was disheartening that they wouldn't listen. So they did order 1293, move forward with it. And now we're in this situation, but that's just one thing. I know with my experience level and where I come from, from being a contractor and working with those entities that answer to the Board of County Commissioners, I mean, most people don't realize the road department, the sheriff's department, the ambulance service, the building and safety, the code compliance, everyone comes to the board for their funding, for their, to be able to implement any new policy. And so I come with a background of already knowing what these ordinances are, I already know what the building codes are, and I already know what the NRSs are. So I think I can make a difference. And the Assembly District 36 debate will be held live here on KPVM TV tonight, April 11th at 6 p.m. It will also be streamed live on our local Pahrump Facebook page, and that's our News 41 for slash, well, actually, it's Facebook forward slash News 41. Fruit prices may be on the rise. Here's Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief to tell you why. Tapping our news, the Russian ruble is quickly losing its value against the dollar. The Russian currency has been selling off for two days now on concerns about sanctions. President Trump has issued sanctions against Russian government officials and big business owners, including a Russian aluminum company. No relief in sight for Florida's citrus industry. The federal government released a report that greening of oranges and other citrus fruits has progressed from acute to chronic. Worse yet, there is no single breakthrough treatment to manage greening in the future. Greening is spread by a tiny bug from Asia. A merger between T-Mobile and Sprint reportedly is back on and in the works. Shares of Sprint and T-Mobile surged as the Wall Street Journal reported the news. Also, Sprint has agreed to pay $10 million to settle with regulators over proper registration of communications towers. Thanks, Angela. Well, do you want to see the monster trucks coming soon to Pahrump? You can enter a drawing being held right now at full throttle. Caitlin Boyer tells you how. Monster trucks are coming to Pahrump. Live a Little Productions is bringing their insanity tour to Petrick Park at the McCull Arena on April 21st, and Full Throttle Auto is giving away tickets to see them live. They've got lots of tickets to give away, so head on down to their shop on 1063rd Street and fill out one of the forms to enter. The shop hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays by appointment only. The drawings will take place on the 13th, the 18th, and the 20th. Good luck going to be exciting. Well, Tanya and Justin got together to talk about supplements in today's Senior Tips.
Welcome to Health and Safety Tips for Seniors. This week, Justin Kernot from Pahrump Health Wellness Center, <laughs> it used to, and I will get it straight one of these days, and it used to be Back to Roots, is joining me today to talk about supplements. Justin's store is right across the street from the post office. If you're interested in learning more things about nutrition and supplements, stop in and see Justin because he really has it down. Justin, we've talked about supplements before. What are the things to take together and what are the things not to take together? And what are the most important supplements? So, uh, so, so uh, I, I've, just to start this off, I have a doctorate degree in pharmacy. So I, yeah. I love uh, nutrition supplements, what seniors can and can't take mm -hmm. with the meds that they are and aren't on. Um, so some of the supplements uh, that are very, very important right now are things like a multivitamin. Again, buy a quality multivitamin. Uh, doctors will tell you that it's not that important. However, that would be true if our diet was better. And, oh, okay. and our diet, it, even if we ate a very whole food green mm -hmm. diet, uh, vegetables and fruits, it still lacks nutrition. They're, we're mass producing our, mm -hmm. our, our food, and so uh, supplements are very important. So multivite is a very, very big one. Buy a quality one. Um, try to get in a capsule form. Sometimes the tablets that they make are crushed too tightly and they don't, we only have a finite period for them to absorb in our gut. And so uh, we need to make sure it's a capsule or drops or chewables? liquids. Chewables, uh, watch out for sugar content. Sugar okay. actually uh, inhibits certain vitamins from absorbing. But one of the best tips I could give anybody is take a multivitamin with food, okay? A multivitamin with food. So don't do it on an empty stomach, uh, take oh. it with food. Uh, the second thing I'm going to say is, um, uh, you know, um, a gut regimen of some sort. Uh, m many people don't have a gallbladder. Uh, I, I know this sounds really weird, but I'm finding that uh, more and more people don't have gallbladders, and gallbladders are very important at especially allowing our bodies to absorb the fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin E. Uh, and so oh. if you don't have a gallbladder, you're not doing that very well. Um, so you could take things like a probiotic, mm -hmm. uh, digestive enzyme, and you can even take a, some, some form of bile salts or, or something called ox bile. It's a natural supplement. What uh, about so, vitamin D? So vitamin D, very important. Again, especially if you don't have a gallbladder. Most people that don't have a gallbladder have very low vitamin D levels. And, and mm. even if you have a gallbladder, as you age, your gallbladder is, is working less and less efficient. So vitamin D is absolutely crucial. They say we need between 1,000 and 5,000 I use a day just to maintain normal. That's amazing. Yeah. What about the, oh, we're out of time. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. This is Tanya Brum reporting for KPVM News 46. Thanks, guys. Home Matters and Save a Pet on the other side of this break.